Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue, coming to you today from Grapevine, Texas. Today we're visiting Vaqueros Barbecue, which is a Tex-Mex barbecue joint, makes a traditional Texas barbecue, along with some amazing tacos. Looking forward to this. Let's start the fire. Y'all look at this amazing plate here. We have pork street tacos. We have the barbacoa taco, burria taco. We have a, a brisket tostada. We have pork spare rib, chipotle cheddar sausage, and underneath there we have some nice lean brisket and mac and cheese just to offset some of the, the protein. Okay, we got a nice little spot outside here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and dig in. We're gonna try some of this sausage first. It is house made. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Right away, you can taste the chipotle and then you get that Tex-Mex feel with a little bit of the, um, the cheddar cheese sausage. This almost tastes like a taco in a, in a piece of sausage. That's really good. Let's dig in the next meat here, the brisket. Check that out. Nice and lean, juicy, moist. Look at that pepper on that. That pepper is insane. They use a nice little coarse butcher pepper, I call it. Amazing beef flavor. That butcher pepper has a nice little kick. You know you're eating some kind of spicy. I like this a lot. I don't know what to dig into next. This all looks so good. Let's go ahead and complete the trinity. Maybe these whiskey glazed ribs. Look at that. Look at that. Give it a try. It's the sweetest rib I've had in a while. I, uh, I really like that a lot. Nice, meaty rib, good glaze. Clean my mouth off a little bit. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I like the sweetness on that a lot. Very, very juicy. Next up, we're gonna try these burrito tacos. I have seen these all over the internet. I've never once had one. This will be my first time, so I have nothing to really compare it to. I can go just based upon the flavor. Look at this nice little char, a bit on the griddle. We're gonna dip it in this consomme. Give it a try. That was damn good. You know, this is a, a brewery. I could see myself coming up here just for the tacos and the beer. That, that was absolutely amazing. So next up, we're gonna go with the, um, the barbacoa. Nice, beautiful taco. Very, very simple taco. This meat, pico, that's really good. I love that tortilla. It's a flour tortilla, uh, very fresh, very, um, I don't know the word I'm really looking for here. <laughs> you can buy through it very, very easily. It's, it's, it's perfect. Um, next up, the pork taco. Pork street taco. Try to show this without spilling it all out. A little bit of pork, a little bit of cojita cheese, jalapeno, and a corn tortilla. Let's give it a shot. So every taco I've had so far has been phenomenal. That's my favorite. That pork street taco, the simplicity of it, with the corn tortilla and the jalapeno, 
that, that was really good. Now the last thing I have here is the um, the brisket tostada. Take a look at this. This looks absolutely amazing. I am not going to eat that on camera because it's going to be a hot mess. I'll give you the recap here in a minute. I'll give you all a little hint of the tostada. That looks good. <laughs> Normally this is where I'd ask for a big thumbs up, but after that ugly bite, you may not want to. My wife's over here laughing at me. She's probably just as disgusted as you are. But now's a great time. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'm not a big beer connoisseur, but I figured I'd show you guys what I got. An aluminum cowboy. This would be a light lager. Really smooth, really light. I like that a lot, especially when you're eating barbecue. Good beer. Definitely want to check it out when you're eating barbecue here. I went back for more tacos. <laughs> Don't judge. This is the best Sunday afternoon, man. I, uh, I I enjoy barbecue a lot, but I also eat it a lot. So getting to mix barbecue with uh, tacos, which is actually my favorite food, is a great thing. I Zero doubt I'll be back here. And uh, next time it's going to be beer and taco heavy. It's going to be a great Saturday, Sunday afternoon. Whatever the case may be, I'll be responsible. This is so good. Trey Sanchez, pitmaster. Currently cooks on an AJ smoker. You also see these at Zavala's barbecue down the road in Grand Prairie, Texas. Let's take a look. I love the customization of this cooker. Check out these horns. That's pretty awesome. And this isn't lit. They're done cooking for the week. Sunday is their last day of the week. Everything now is in the warmers. Check this out. Oh, this attached Santa Maria. That awning would go up so they can cook on the other side. A lot of live fire cooking. Take a look back there. How awesome is that? Pretty cool. Big thanks to Trey for letting me come back here and take a look. So at time of filming, we are still in the pandemic. So if you're watching this in the future, hopefully we're done with this garbage. But I want to show you around and see how it's set up so that way you can feel safe coming out during this time. So once you get your food, you can come out here to the, the patio. Pretty good spacing. Outdoors. See the smoke from the, the pit. Felt pretty comfortable here. So it was a great afternoon. I had so much fun. I only had one beer, so I'm good to go. But next time, definitely going to be beers and tacos. I um, I can't recommend this place enough. The barbecue is phenomenal, but the tacos are next level. The fact that I can combine my two favorite dishes into one setting, absolutely the best. I love it here. So definitely check it out. It's not far from DFW Airport, so if you're not in the area, maybe you have a layover in DFW, it would take you maybe a 15 minute Uber to get over here. Not bad at all and definitely worth it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single thing, ring that notification bell. I thank you guys so much. The fire is out. Okay.